creature of Earth will be met by a group of fearless warriors that number just 100 souls. 100 wonderful defenders of our world. Fists will erupt with volcanic fury. Blades will slice with razor sharp precision. And bullets will fire with incredible speed. Their faces are forever masked. Their tombs are forever unknown. They are. The wonderful 101. I knew we forgot someone. You. Hello, Nintendo gamers. The kid here. And yes, that was a trailer for the wonderful 101. And this is a why I'm, I'm excited about the wonderful 101. Um, so yes, I'm starting back this series and it's a little bit, go it's going to be revamped as you can see. Um, you're going to be seeing gameplay actually during this, not just a slideshow. So, um, before we get any go any further, I'm going to read the overview that Nintendo has uh, set up at their official site. Um, and so you can get a better perspective of what this game is going to be like. It says, players much must explore each stage to find helpless citizens and recruit them to join their army of heroes. The more heroes you gather, the greater your special morph powers will be. Players can use the Wii U gamepad touchscreen to command heroes such as Bonsai Man, Vending Machine Man, and even Toilet Bowl Man. Heroes can also morph into gelatin to guard themselves from enemy attacks. Players can also use the gamepad to explore areas unseen on the TV and solve puzzle elements. Platinum Games is known for... Bayonetta and Matt World. If you guys didn't know, yes, this is a Platinum Games game, if that makes any sense to you. So, um, I am very excited for this game. Um, some people th say it looks like Pikmin. Um, I couldn't disagree more. It, it, I mean, it's setting, you know, the whole recruiting, you know, other uh, citizens and stuff, having an army of 100 uh, citizens and superheroes. Uh, that a little bit reminds me of Pikmin. I think that's what it most does. It reminds me of Pikmin, but it doesn't look like Pikmin to me in the least bit like some people have been saying. That looks like a Pikmin clone except with more action. No, it doesn't to me. Um, I think it is a great concept idea for a game. Um, as far as the names of the heroes, uh, Banzai Man, um, Vending Machine Man and Toilet Bowl Man, um, as you, I don't know if these are the official names of these characters, or are there just names that have been just made up? I don't know because these characters definitely do not look like they will be named something like that. They look way, they look way too cool to be called something like that. So. The gameplay, I really like it. It looks very fast, uh, fast paced, and uh, it has a lot of action. You can you the more citizens you recruit, and they turn into superheroes. The powerful your uh, abilities will be. Um, so far, we've seen only a handful of morph abilities you can use. You can turn into a giant hand, use a sword, uh, morph into a sword. Um, turn into like this jello and repel attacks, um, a glider and a bridge and, uh, you know, a ladder. Um, so those are the ones, um, I can count on up top of my head. And I think also a gun, um, uh, which is very cool. So, um, you can also use the game pad, um, and draw lines and circles to activate these, um, these, um, morph abilities which is really cool so i'm excited for the gameplay mostly now with the trailers we haven't gotten much of a story all we know is that aliens have attacked and that it's up to these three superheroes 
uh, but they can't do it alone themselves, so they start recruiting citizens and stuff. So until Platinum Games or Nintendo gets more into detail with the story and more detail into the game itself, um, this is all I can go off of right now. So, um, yeah, the concept looks very nice. If anything... Um, the characters, their models, and their just whole design has Beautiful Joe written all over it. Because if you guys didn't know, before uh, Platinum Games became Platinum Games, they actually worked with um, for Capcom. And they are the ones who were also working on the Beautiful Joe series. So that's why these characters have that little midget-like body um, that Beautiful Joe has. So this game will be... Um, uh, published by Nintendo, so it actually is, you know, something that Nintendo can, has, you know, like a new IP that Platinum Games is uh, developing, but it's published by Nintendo, much like Bayonetta 2. Um, so there's no doubt probably Nintendo staff and producers are working on this game alongside Platinum Games like they are with Bayonetta 2. So... I can't wait till they get into more detail with this game. Um, it looks very cool, very fast-paced. I like that. And I like the whole concept it has. You know, you can go into, like, a house's garage or a building, and you can't see what you're doing on the TV screen. So you look at the gamepad screen, and then you can see what's going on um, inside the area you're in. Um, that you can't see on a TV, and I think that's a really cool concept. Um, and of course, there will be different puzzles um, that will you utilize your morph abilities, which is really cool. Um, I just think it was a great idea. Do I think it's inspired by Pikmin? Maybe it probably is, no doubt. Maybe um, it's up in the air. I think so. Might not be. Um, does it remind me a lot about Beautiful Joe? Yes. And the Beautiful Joe series has been pretty much dormant for the past couple of years. I really do think they need to come back. Or who knows, maybe Capcom, you know, doesn't want to do it anymore since Platinum Games left. Who knows? We don't know. But uh, when I first seen these characters, and there's three main superheroes. There's a bigger one, and then there's these two cooler looking ones that everybody's going to care about. The green one, no one cares about. Um, and they look really cool. So the first thing I thought in my mind, I was like, when I first found out this was published by Nintendo, I thought Smash Brothers instantly. Um, as new characters, newcomers. Um, I hope that happens. I very much so hope that happens. Um, but yeah, these are my thoughts on the game. Um, what do you guys think about the game? Do you think it has a lot of potential? I think it does as a new IP for Nintendo and Platinum Games. Um, I do hope it becomes a series, not just a uh, one-time wonder where it comes out and then you know, never see a sequel again, even if it does do well. I, I do very much so hope it does well, because um, I know Platinum Games games don't do super duper well. You know, they, they sell, but they don't sell as much as other franchises does. And I really do hope Nintendo does buy this company like it's rumored that they um, are possibly going to buy uh, platinum games and that will you know boost their popularity up and their games will sell more if that happened it already seems like nintendo is working really really closely with them they're working on two games right now maybe even a third who knows but it seems like nintendo really likes them so we'll see so guys that's why i'm excited i'm excited for the gameplay i'm excited for the whole concept the characters look really cool and the potential of maybe one of them or maybe the two cooler looking ones actually getting into Smash Bros. So tell me what you think about the game. Um, and yeah, um, again, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be doing more Why I'm Excited videos soon in the future that will be similar to this. So thank you guys for watching.